For today's story, I'm going to read Growing Vegetable Soup. It was written and illustrated by Lois Allert. Before we start, let's do all the different parts of the book. Here we have the title, front cover, spine, and back cover. When I open up the book, I come to a page that has the title, the author and illustrator's name, and the company that published the book. Do you know what this page is called? The title page. And sometimes the author writes the book for someone special. That is the dedication page. Dad says we are going to grow vegetable soup. We're ready to work and our tools are ready too. Let's take a look over here. They labeled the picture. That means they wrote exactly what they see. So this is a rake. This is a shovel. This is a hoe. All the tools you need to get your soil ready. We are planting the seeds. It looks like they have a seed package, a garden glove, soil, holes for all of the seeds, green bean seed, pea seed, corn seed, zucchini squash seed, and carrot seeds. Let's pause for a moment. When I read carrot seeds, that made me think of another story that I've read before. And when you're reading a book and think of another book that you've read, that's called a text to text connection. So I've read the story, The Carrot Seed, to my students. So when I read Carrot Seeds over here in this book, it made me think of another story. So maybe you had a text-to-text uh, -to -text connection too. And all the sprouts, broccoli, tomato, potato, trowel, pepper, cabbage, and this is a peat moss pot and giving them water. It says water and can. So here again, we have our tomato, potato, green bean, carrot, cabbage, pepper, zucchini squash, pea, onion, broccoli, and corn. Lots of delicious vegetables. And waiting for warm sun to make them grow. Look, they even labeled the sun in the picture. and grow. Wow, look carefully at this page. You can see the plants look like they've gotten bigger. And grow into plants. So here we have a net and a stake. Those help the vine growing plants to keep growing up. And then we have a zucchini squash, which before you get the actual squash, comes the zucchini bud and then the squash blossom. We watch over them and weed. So here we have the hand grubber, which helps get all the weeds out of the soil. And if you look closely at the picture, you'll see a little worm in the broccoli. And over here are the green beans. Until the vegetables are ready for us to pick. So we have tomato, pepper, corn, and here's our hand basket where they're picking all the vegetables. Another way of saying picking all the vegetables or collecting the vegetables is to harvest the vegetables. Or dig up. Okay, they have the spading fork to get the potatoes out of the ground. And then we have carrots. Over here we have another carrot, potato, and a bushel basket. and carry home. Then we wash them. So it looks like they're gonna wash the cabbage, the onions, and they have a pail here to collect them. And cut them and put them in a pot of water. So here's our big soup pot. Look at all of the amazing vegetables that they're putting in the soup. We have carrots and corn and onions, zucchini squash, tomato, pea, broccoli, potato, pepper, green bean, cabbage, 
wow, look at all those vegetables. And here's the knife to cut up all, cut up all of those vegetables and the soup ladle to scoop it out. And cook them into vegetable soup. Mmm, I can imagine how delicious that must smell. And look, they even labeled the word steam. At last, it's time to eat it all up. It was the best soup ever. And if we look here, they even labeled soup bowl and soup spoon. And we can grow it again next year. I hope you guys enjoyed the story, Growing Vegetable Soup. I know I did, and I'm planning on growing my own vegetable garden this summer. So after reading this story, talk to somebody about at home about what your favorite vegetable is, and if you had a vegetable garden, what vegetables would you grow? Bye, guys.